Hello. Welcome to the Quick Time Tour of Facilities. I'm your host, Kip Olson, for today. And I'm going to take you on a tour of the Quick Time facility here at Apple Computer, where we put together some of the best multimedia software since Multimedia PC. Come on, let's go take a tour. I'm sure you've all heard a lot about uh, Apple's push towards having a multi-platform standard, and QuickTime is no exception. What I'm standing in front of now is the QuickTime third-party compatibility multi-platform lab. I'd like to go inside and give you a sneak preview for the first time of QuickTime running on another platform. It's such a secret lab, we have to have card key access. Come on inside. So here it is. For the first time, you get to see QuickTime running on another platform. In this case, QuickTime running on a PDP-11 from Digital Equipment Corporation. Apple has worked exclusively with digital on coming up with a new format for consumer audio distribution of media for QuickTime demos. Here's the prototype of what we propose as a consumer standard for delivering multimedia presentations to the home user. I think you will agree that this is a great technology advancement. So this is the QuickTime compatibility lab where we test QuickTime on every CPU Apple has ever made and will ever make in the future and has even ever thought about, we will test it first and foremost here in this lab. As you can see, we may have more racks of equipment than we've ever sold to any customers, but we feel pretty good that we are the biggest user of QuickTime anywhere. Okay, here's a bunch of the machines that we test QuickTime on. As you can see, we have uh, racks and racks of them um, that we do all of our testing on. Um, unfortunately, these machines actually are Mac Classics and can't run QuickTime. So now we're in the QuickTime Advanced Technology Research Lab. This is where our most confidential and, and really most technical research goes on. We have a whole staff of people working on a number of products using some of the equipment that you see here to really bring multimedia and QuickTime into the mainstream. Some of this equipment may not be familiar to some of you, but let me just show you one thing we're working on. This is a game that we think is going to have a lot of potential using QuickTime once we get the bugs out. Let me just give you a quick demo of, this, of the game technology here. Man, th this is just, this is fun. This, this is going to be great someday, I know. So this is it. This is command central for QuickTime. This is where it all happens. As you can see, the cubes are filled with engineers bustling and busily working on QuickTime. Every cube has a busy engineer working on it. Let me just show you the cubicle of our founder, Bruce Leak. Come on in here. Take a look at this. Bruce has a lot of work to do. As you can see, he's here busily fixing bugs in QuickTime. Let me just show you some of the awards Bruce has had. Um, this was a personal gift from Jerry Burrell of Backworld. He gave him this, this fine empty bottle of, of Evian. 1989, he won the Editor's Choice Award from Mac user for 32-bit uh, quick draw. And this fine piece of crystal was also given to him in appreciation of his work on QuickTime. So we should all have a lot of uh, faith and confidence in the QuickTime's team ability to get jobs done because, you know, we're all, we're all looking to get an award like this. So let me show you the, the food locker, the kind of thing you can expect um, when you're using QuickTime. This is what we've become used to. Fine uh, nourishment here for those late nights of programming. The Almond Joys I recommend especially, along with, along with the macadamia nuts. They really have a special combination. You know, some of our research indicated uh, the kind of things that you get when you use multimedia PC. You get, a, you get a drawer full of wires with multimedia PC. So think about it when you're choosing a multimedia system. So let's, let's meet some of the team. Come a little closer. This is Peter Hardy. He's waiting for uh, the Star Trek The Next Generation to come on next Saturday night. Peter, why don't you say hi to the folks? Hi. Peter, you know, it is Wednesday night. You know, Star Trek won't be out for three days. Do you want me to turn the TV on? No, I... Okay, P Peter's busy. This is the QuickTime Vault. Apple provided this for us to keep our most sensitive documents so that we could have a very secure operating environment in which to deliver software. And 
Peter, how many times do I have to tell you to put the ho-hos in before you go out? Well, thank you for joining us today in our tour of the QuickTime facilities. We hope this was instructive and you have an even greater confidence in our ability to deliver QuickTime as a robust and on-time software solution. Thanks, and next time, have a ho-ho on me.